Welcome back. And as we mentioned earlier, today is an historic day for space travel. This afternoon at exactly 4.33 Eastern Standard Time, two NASA astronauts will hitch a ride on a SpaceX rocket en route to the International Space Station. It is the first manned mission from U.S. soil since 2011. That's right, Dylan. Fingers crossed, weather permitting. Well, former NASA astronaut Mike Massimino is a veteran of two space flights. He's part of Discovery and Science Channel's special live coverage called Space Launch Live. America returns to space starting at 2 p.m. Eastern. Mike, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Al, it's, uh, it's great to be here. Good day today. Dylan, thanks for having me. Good to see both of you. Uh, well, we're, we're so glad you are here joining us. Now, the mission, of course, nothing short of historic. Not only is it the first U.S. launch of, of astronauts since the end of the space shuttle program in 2011, but it marks the first time a private company, Elon Musk's SpaceX, going to launch them into orbit. Stakes have to be really high for this launch. Uh, yeah, they are, Al. Uh, every launch is high stakes, right? But this is particularly because it's the first launch of a spacecraft. We really haven't launched a spacecraft for the first time. Since 1981, when we launched the space shuttle, we, we launched the space shuttle from 81 to 2011. But the first time we, the last time we've done something like this, was quite a long time ago, 1981. And I think it's going to mark a, a, a kind of a line in the sand in the timeline. Everything before this day has been only governments launching people to space. Now, from now on, it's still going to be governments, but it's also going to be private companies that have done it. I think we look back on this event, and that's what's going to be the importance of today. Mike, what's the, what's the goal of this mission besides the historic nature of it? Uh, the main thing, Al, is to check out this new spaceship. And that's why you have two test pilots on board, uh, both good friends of mine. Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin both went to test pilot school. They're there to check out the, the spaceship. And that's, that's really the primary objective. But then they're going to be on the space station for a while. They're not exactly sure how long, anywhere between a month to about four months. They're still, they're still not sure about how long they're going to be up there. There's also going to be a science component to their mission as well. But if their mission is successful with checking out the spaceship, it's going to give us more access to space for astronauts and also for private companies. And, Mike, I'm kind of giddy with excitement about all this that's happening later today. But can you tell us what the astronauts are kind of experiencing right now before they go up? I mean, yeah. so many people are in quarantine, and I'm, I'm assuming astronauts yeah. go into quarantine for quite some time before they go up into space. But I love your question, Dylan, because that's you know, that, the personal part of this is really important. Uh, Megan MacArthur, who is an astronaut who I flew in space with, is married to Bob Benkin. The two of them are they're an astronaut couple. They're an astronaut family. <laughs> And I texted with her uh, last night and uh, told her I was going to be coming on the Today Show. And she said, please tell everyone that the crew is in high spirits. I also spoke to their family escort, another guy who I flew in space with for a while last night. And the crew is doing really well. They've been, they've been relaxed. They're able to spend time with their families. Because of the quarantine, they can even be with uh, smaller children. So they're, they're able to be spending time, not with a lot of people, but at least with their, their spouses and their, and their kids. And they're able to enjoy that family time. And that's what you really want to do when you get ready to fly in space. You're prepared, and you want to have some nice time with your family. And I'm really glad that they were able to do that. So they're, they're ready to go. Well, Mike, we're in the middle of a global pandemic. Everybody looking for a, a little inspiration yeah. to help them uh, really quickly. What does this mean today? Uh, I think it's it's a great thing uh, for the space program. It's a great thing we, you know, for the privatization of space as well. We can't just rely on the government to do things if we really want to do what we what we want to do in space. And so now we have private companies involved too. But now I think really, but you, I think you said it really well. The, the pandemic is everybody. It's been tough for everybody. It's been so difficult for, for just about Mike, everyone. we're going to have really to leave it there. It. We'll see you on Discovery. So, We've got more okay. of the third hour of today as we continue.